Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to go over um, how I did on my January budget, which, um, spoiler alert, not great. Um, it has been a while since we have followed a strict budget. We used to. We used to follow Dave Ramsey like religiously. Um, it, it, it was the best thing that we've ever done. It got us out of massive amounts of debt. Um, close to like 60,000, I think of consumer debt and that's probably not even including cars so there's a lot to be said about Dave Ramsey and and everything that he teaches I love him I love everything about his program um, however with life being what it is we kind of just got comfortable and complacent and fell off the you know wagon so I'm trying to get us back in it um, in 2018 I want to have savings I want to not worry about um, any random expenses that come up or anything like that. So we're gonna do better. Um, January was definitely an eye opener as to how terrible we are at budgeting. Like even with a written budget, we still did not do great. Um, especially myself, I was not great. I was the one controlling, you know, the budget. So I'm going to go over. Um, how we did and how we're gonna do better next month so you know for those of you who are starting budgeting and feel a little kind of defeated for not having a good January don't let that get you down I mean I like I said I have used budgeting to get myself out of massive amounts of debt and I still did terrible on this month because it's been a while and you kind of get to the point where you're just buy whatever you want to buy, you know, things like that. So you kind of have to, you know, control yourself. Um, and it takes a little while. It's a habit that needs to be formed. And I am definitely willing to put in the work to get back into that habit. But anyhow, that being said, I kind of wanted to go over how things went in January for us. Um, so we budgeted 906 for our mortgage and that was what we paid so obviously that was okay um, electric I pay 125 regardless I set up a long time ago um, to pay 125 so in months where it's higher it pulls from the, basically the extra I have in there I think I have like I don't know $700 extra in my electric so I used to pay up 150 a month every month so I dropped that down to 125 to start depleting some of that um, but I do that so that in the winter when my bills are low it gives me a cushion for summertime when the bills are astronomical being in Florida summertime our electric bill is crazy high um, health insurance was actually about 55 dollars instead of 30 um, reason being was I couldn't figure out my account number so I didn't know how to send a check to them so I went and paid online and since it was a few days late they made me pay both January and February's you know bill so I won't have a February health insurance bill life insurance was also 170 so that came out exactly same thing with my life insurance um, Netflix is a little bit less than 12 it's actually $11.95 instead of $12 um, so so we have an overage or I guess five cents we have five cents left for that um, trash was $76 so there's nothing there and these bills have all been paid so I guess I should check those off um, let's see, water sewer, I do the same thing. I pay it just an amount to make sure it covers it. Um, hopefully that will go down soon because my husband is tapping into our well instead of using our city water to water our, um, he's got a little garden in the backyard that he grows plants and things. So hopefully that'll go lower. Hulu, I think it's a little bit less than $10. It's actually $9.06. Six, so we have a little bit there too, but 94 cents. <laughs> uh, internet, I pay 60 regardless. It's like 50 something, but I pay 60. I did call them and I negotiated that down. Um, so it should go down a little bit next month. So I'll check on that. 
when I get a chance. And then car insurance, that's actually for a sinking fund, um, $250, because we pay our car insurance every six months, so we're not paying that monthly fee. We just started doing that. Um, this will be our second like lump payment, because I sat down and figured out we're spending so much, like we've had Geico for like, 15 years and have been paying that extra five dollars a month so we've you know basically wasted hundreds of dollars for no apparent reason so I decided to do that whole lump sum thing to save us a little bit of money every month I mean five dollars doesn't seem like a lot but it adds up after 15 years of paying it per month um, so I did transfer that over to the sinking fund for that so there's nothing really so I have basically 99 cents more than what I um, expected, or I guess 99 cents, I paid 99 cents less than what I expected to pay, so woo, dollar. Um, so that part is fine as far as my budgeting. It's the discretionary spending that's the problem. Um, I went over in basically every category. So I created these little balancey type stickers to put in here. Um, I just wanted to try and see how I like it, um, and I actually do. I like being able to see every day what our balance is. I didn't, you know, start doing it until this week. Like that week, I didn't have anything in there, um, and it, it is nice. It forces me to write these down every day. It forces me to face the budget on a daily basis. Um, so I like that. I mean, I have this, and I, you know, do that as I go. My expense trackers in each, each category. Um, instead of just one lump expense tracker, I have it, you know, separated into categories, but it's easy for that to kind of get lost. There's something about this, the colors and everything that kind of, I don't know, draw my eye to it a little bit better. Um, so I think I will continue doing that. However, it won't be the first week of February because I didn't know which layout I liked better, like a spending and then a to-do and a notes and then my, um, income and expenses over here like bills so I wasn't sure which layout I would like so I figured I'd give each one a week to try it out um, but I am actually kind of digging that one so we'll see how I like this one but I, I probably will lean towards this one after next week um, so yeah if you look at my balances for my personal money I only budgeted $25 for the month which I thought would be fine however um, I was nowhere near that mark. I went over $105.55. Um, I blame Michaels and their 60% off coupons and things like that. But I think I'm kind of have everything that I need or want for now, hopefully. But I do know because of this, I will be budgeting probably $25 a week for discretionary like spending money for myself. And I, there's no way I'm gonna do $25 a month apparently. My husband did great only because everything he spends his money on is basically for like the garden and things like that and I kind of stuck that in miscellaneous because it wasn't like like mine was like planner stuff and things like that which was specifically for me not for the house not kitchen things things like that um, because what he spends his money on technically falls into home stuff I kind of put it in miscellaneous so I don't know he he looks really good on paper. I don't. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Um, gas, we did fine. We had 61.53 left over. Eating out, we did fine. We have 9.74 left over, um, and we actually didn't even spend anything until Friday. We let our kids pick anywhere they wanted to get food from because they had awesome report cards. So we figured as a treat, we'd you know get some food for them to eat out. They picked like Red Robins and Burger King and all these random places, little bits of stuff from everywhere. We figured whatever since, you know, they did so good and we don't eat out very often, um, we do that for them. So that's what we have left over for that. Groceries, we have $27.14 left over. Um, miscellaneous, we went over $271.28. So that is not good. Um, technically, there's still, what, three days left in the month, but I don't anticipate any spending to occur since it's, you know, during the work week, but, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it won't, because 
we're way over budget as it is. That being said, um, we still have a pretty good chunk of money that we can move over to some sinking funds. Um, for income, let's see, he made a little bit more than what we anticipated, so uh, that's 1726 39 and then I brought in 239.77. So let's see on his first paycheck. Oh, sorry. Alright, his first paycheck was 1661 minus 1500. Could have easily done that in my head. Um, 161.10 left over on his second paycheck. Um, yeah, again, I can do this in my head. $26.39. Since we don't budget anything for my income, all of it is over. 239.77. So we have 161.10. Plus 26, 39, plus 9, 214.71, and 239.77. So we have $641.97 um, more income than what we expected, minus my overages here. Um, all right, so on spending alone, so I went, let's see, we have 23, 39 left over, 61, 53 left over, 9, 74, and 27, 14, and then minus my 105, 55, and minus 271, 28, so we went over $255.03, but since we have $641.97 more, $641.97 more, um, so we're still doing better. We have $386.76. Um, what I think I'm going to do next month is I'm going to do a monthly budget, but I'm also going to do a paycheck to paycheck budget because it just kind of makes more sense to me. Um, like for instance, I made this little thing and I'm sure you can't see it. So I did print out one that was slightly larger, not, ooh, should have had that pulled out first. Um, not tremendously larger, but one that you might be able to see a little better. So unless you get paid like the first and 15th of every month, um, your second paycheck is going to have to cover some of your expenses for your next month. So for instance, um, my paycheck number one only covered my Hulu internet and car insurance. Well, it needed to cover that. Paycheck number two is at the end of the month, which we just got the 26th, and that will need to cover um, next month's mortgage, electric, health insurance, and the Netflix before we get our actual first paycheck of that month. So. What I think I'm going to start doing is just as soon as I get my, you know, paycheck, that second paycheck, which we already did, is go ahead and pay everything that it needs to cover for the next month, plus put some money, um, like keep some money for groceries and gas and things like that that we're going to need for the first two weeks of the month before we get paid or, you know, before we get our first paycheck. That way, um, we don't look at our bank account and think we have more money than we really do. So what I'm gonna do is do that, go ahead and pay that, and then I'm gonna take whatever I have minus like a $250 buffer and put those those to, towards my sinking funds. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that um, in sinking funds and what I, where I put it and things like that. I actually did open some bank accounts last week for my sinking funds, I think I have like 10 um, savings accounts that I opened. And then I also opened a Discover checking account. It has, it's an interest bearing 
um, or cash back, I guess. It is, I think, like 1% on purchases or something like that with a debit card. So, which isn't a lot, but you know, every little bit helps and counts. So I'm gonna do that for, I think, groceries and gas. Um, so I'll keep my main checking and then I'll have that Discover checking account just for those expenses and just collect, you know, maybe 10, 20 bucks a year or so. But it's just, um, just a little something extra. So I think that's, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So just as a recap, I did really bad. <laughs> we did really, really bad on our budget this month. Um, but we will do better next month. Um, so if you did bad this month, don't be so hard on yourself. You know, just kind of get a learning, use it as a learning experience. Like I realized $25 a month is not gonna cut it for discretionary spending for myself. Um, I didn't really consider myself a huge spender, but geez, uh, yeah, I went over really bad. And there were a lot of things that I was getting, you know, for the planners and all this stuff. And I don't suspect I will need much more of that. Um, but yeah, 25 bucks, not going to cut it. Um, my gas was on point. Groceries were okay. Um, we didn't go over, but I was hoping to go way less. Although I will say I spent a lot at Earth Fair today. Um, it is a kind of a health food type grocery store if you don't have one in your area and they occasionally have really good deals on their um, antibiotic free chicken and, or their grass fed beef. Um, this week they had chicken and we were really low on it so I think I bought like 30 pounds <laughs> of chicken and threw it in our chest freezer. So that'll hold us over obviously for about a month um, as far as chicken. Well maybe. We eat a lot of food. <laughs> we eat a lot of food in this house, so it may or may not, but it will hold us over for a while. Um, so it's not like that 94.15 was off for this week or next week. It was, you know, 30 pounds of chicken. So, you know, it'll it'll give us a little while before we have to go back and get chicken. Um, but yeah, I do that occasionally. So that's one of the things where I'm afraid to do, like, split my grocery budget to the, you know, paychecks because when there is a really good deal on say their grass fed um, ground beef, I will buy like 20 to 40 pounds at one time and throw it in the freezer. So I'm kind of trying to figure out how to do that paycheck to paycheck thing as far as um, gas and groceries go. As far as like the bills, I'm completely fine with doing that, but I'm trying to gauge how to do that with the other things that we spend money on. Um, but yeah, so that is the overview of my January. Not so great, but um, I'm working on it. So I will do a, another video on February when I kind of figure out how I want to lay that out. If I want to do the paycheck to paycheck or if I'm just going to continue to do just a monthly budget. And I'm kind of leaning towards doing a monthly and paycheck to paycheck so I can kind of get an overview. I like having this. I like seeing kind of a monthly overview of everything. Um, but I see the benefit of doing paycheck to paycheck because of how bills work um, and, and things that don't really cor like correlate with your paychecks unless, again, you're like first and 15th or even just once a month or whatever kind of income. Um, so I will do that. I'm gonna do a separate video also on how I allocated the money for the sinking fund. I have to kind of do a little bit of math. Um, I think what I need to do is take a look at this and the bills that I have coming in February that need to come out of this paycheck. Like it's, I know it's $1,073, but it's the grocery part um, and the gas that I need to kind of think about, mull it over before I pull any money out and put it in the sinking funds other than the car insurance. That one I did as if it was like a bill. So that, that's it, that is my January review. Um, I hope it helped you guys. I mean, it is it is what it is. I mean, people make mistakes and you kinda learn from it and I hope that you guys did better on your January. But if you didn't, you know, just know that February starts in a few days and you can kinda have a fresh start to your budget. And, um, oh, and the other thing. One of the other things I kinda wanted to show you. Um, so, I did a lot, not a lot, eh, kind of a lot, of returns 
um, at the end of last week. So some of my, I guess, my spending money technically came back to me because of these returns, but I didn't keep track of that on my little expense thing as far as you know crediting that back to myself. I think I will do that next next month um, to get a really like accurate overview of things. Um, so I have these little refund stickers that I I made, um, and in the little box I just put where it like that money's going back to. Like sometimes they'll give you cash, so I just put a little money sign, which you can't really tell because I put check marks on things. Um, and then if it came back to my debit card, I put a D. Um, my Target card a T. And then when I checked my account, I checked it off here once it showed up on my account. Because you know how you'll get a refund but it doesn't show in your account for like a few days. So I kind of wanted to keep kind of wanted to keep track of that. Um, so I did make some returns and I will be doing some returns next week for things too. So I think that's how I'll do that next time is to give myself credit back onto my spending money or whatever um, when I do a return. But all right, well that is it. Sorry this was so long-winded. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like budgeting videos and you want to kind of join me on my journey and hopefully it'll help you out in yours, um, feel free to hit like and consider subscribing. Thanks guys and I will see you in a couple days for my February monthly budget. Have a good one.